Hey, welcome back. You're with us here on Aspire. Now, a lot is buzzing in the luxury space. For one, there is a new discovery to talk about. Uh, this one launched by Land Rover. And of course, there are those chandelier earrings as well to speak of. Here's a look at the buzz in the luxury space. This is Land Rover's new Discovery Sport. The seven-seater with a prominent center console, an eight-inch touchscreen interface on the dashboard, leather upholstery, alloy wheels, a panoramic roof, automatic headlamps, steel and aluminum hood, and a 10-speaker audio system. From designing Louis Vuitton's first Pret line to these. Hula hoops, charm necklaces, paved palm studs. Marc Jacobs, the designer, has spread his repertoire. And now we find designers like Manish Malhotra trying to do the same back home. These chandelier earrings have been created by him in collaboration with Forever Diamonds. Say hello again to the 20s. Chanel's Café Society collection on display at the Biennale des Antiques in Paris next week. It will include a Vendôme necklace in 18 karat white and yellow gold, an onyx and diamond tuxedo necklace and a birdcage clock. Now there was a time uh, when offices used to be the staid, serious places of work. But now a lot is changing, so many people are experimenting. You find a lot of openness when you look at the layouts and then you have these themes playing out as well. A lot of colour too. A lot of colour, open spaces, even greenery in the office. In fact, uh, Delhi-based designer Cherry Hill gives us a sense of how some of these global trends are coming to India. We wouldn't be surprised if you think this is a park. Actually, it's an office. The Googleplex in Mountain View, California. The difference between this and your regular office, split wide open. Look within the office. Wherever you turn, the big theme seems to be Get Social. Pretty much in line with this company's guiding philosophy. But guess what? Facebook takes it up a notch. At the social media behemoth's new Menlo Park office in California, we see a stronger dose of creativity in their large open spaces. And yes, it brings the outside in. But this office here is bringing the inside out. An office in a tropical jungle if you please. Selgascano Architecture Office is in Madrid, in Spain. It may be small in size, but in concept, this one is big. The idea of a workplace now clearly getting redefined, not just abroad, in India as well. India is most definitely there and uh, we, we are absolutely at par with global standards now. People are realizing the value and importance of uh, creating a good workspace for um, employees. And uh, this is exactly where it's going to head towards um, creating sort of offices without partitions and walls, um, incorporating indoors into outdoors. We do get that feeling when we see offices such as these. Designed by the very Indian company Cherry Hill, based in the east of Kailash in New Delhi. Since 1987, the company has been designing the Indian office spaces for the likes of Amazon, Mindtree, Bank of America, BNP Paribas and British Telecom. We have to uh, create spaces which are more open. People are looking for offices which are more flexible in terms of usage, whether it is cafeteria or whether it is training rooms. They are used for different purposes at different times of the day or the week, which are more collaborative for people to come and sit in an informal environment where they can interact with each other and get better ideas. Like a data analysis company Dunhambi in Gurgaon, Cherry Hill has made their office walls transparent, which lets natural light flow in. And the walls that do exist turn into inspirational spaces. There's plenty of colour all around. And spots like this that stretch into the greens outside. The cafeteria expands the easy communication theme from the workflow itself. 
Even at this office in Noida of IT Solutions Company in Terra, there's a huge open reception with a burst of red. The workstations perhaps taking their cue from this. With the graffiti on the wall, this is an unlikely IT setup. The client wanted us to create spaces which were a little more younger, uh, you know, more buoyant in nature. They had more uh, closed cabins, less open spaces. Uh, acoustic was a little bit of an issue there. Uh, and we studied uh, their working pattern and based on that we uh, worked out a design. Well, considering the size of India's workforce and its median age, architects are clear who they are designing for. The average age has drastically come down uh, over the last 5-7 years. And with that, the set of aspirations has changed dramatically. And to cater to those set of aspirations, uh, we have uh, different elements in terms of collaborative spaces, in terms of fun zones, cafeterias, on the floor where they exist. Alright, now that's about all that we could pack into this edition of Aspa. But before we go, here's a little tribute to Eve Carcel, the genius of the man who really brought life back into LVMH with all his thoughts on Louis Vuitton. He really brought in Marc Jacobs into the picture and ever since then, with all his introductions in jewellery and eyewear, we've seen him do great things at LVMH. We salute the genius of Eve Carcel.